I have an uncomfortable message to share with you, but one that I'll explain. You should be happy when your clients want to leave you. What do I mean by that? Well, I don't mean that your clients are unhappy with your coaching, they think you're a terrible fit for them, and they're sorry they ever hired you. That's not at all what I mean. What I mean is when you get to the end of your planned coaching engagement, your client would be happy to be ending the engagement and moving on from the coaching. You understand that coaching is not intended to create a relationship where the client becomes dependent on the coach for the ability to plan ahead, think through situations, learn to manage themselves in a calmer and more professional way in difficult circumstances, or to be able to establish new habits or be accountable to change. No, all of these things should have happened in the coaching relationship and gotten to the client to a point where they feel comfortable confident and capable with continuing on by themselves. I have talked in the past about the value of long-term clients. It's terrific to have clients for a long time. There's no doubt about that. But at some point, an engagement comes to an end in a natural way. The client has achieved the objectives that you set out at the beginning they feel very comfortable about that. They feel very good about it and they're ready to end the coaching engagement. You see, most of the clients that we work with as executive and leadership coaches are extremely busy. They're not able to factor in the extra work associated with coaching on an ongoing basis. It's usually a part of their leadership journey that comes and goes. It's not something that they regularly have in their schedule. It's rare to meet a leader that has an executive coach at all times. It's usually during certain periods where they're challenged by circumstances that they don't have clear answers to, coaching might help, or it's just part of ongoing leadership development to help them prepare for the next level and the difficulties that will come their way. So be happy when a coaching engagement is coming to an end and your client is expressing great satisfaction. While we wish that they would renew and stay with us, we also understand that it's a natural part of the process to end an engagement and feel good about the work that you did. And then go back to work and get a new client to take that place. I hope this video has helped you to understand the true role of a coach. It's not to keep someone but it's to help them get to a certain place in their life and then to part ways. Possibly you might work with them again in the future, or hopefully they would also refer you to other people whom you could work with in the future. If this video has been helpful, please like it, comment on it, and subscribe to the channel. And of course, share it with others. If you'd like to go further with me in learning how to coach leaders and executives, consider coming to my next in-person seminar brought to you on behalf of the Center for Executive Coaching. I'm a faculty member there and I lead their in-person seminars a few times a year. The next one is coming up in July of this year. To learn more, go to the centerforexecutivecoaching.com and search out in-person seminar or visit my dedicated website, bayareaexecutivecoachtraining.com or email me at michael at bayareaexecutivecoach.com. Thank you very much.